In Rwanda's Virunga National Park, a small caravan of researchers hauls precious cargo through the forest. It's a three-and-a-half-year-old mountain gorilla named Mvuya Kuri. Poachers killed two members of her family to capture her, but were themselves caught before they could sell her on the black market. Now she's being returned to the wild, and if she's lucky, to rejoin her kind. A gorilla can be uh, reintroduced in one of the group. The best choice, he is the group of origin. Unfortunately for this case, we didn't really have enough information to know where was the group. There are dozens of gorilla groups living here, but there are fewer than 700 individual mountain gorillas left in all of Africa. Half of them live here in Rwanda. The other half live across the borders in Uganda and Congo. In all three countries, the gorillas are in peril. The spread of development and farming is slowly eating away the gorillas' territory. People here are poor, so poaching is an even more urgent problem. In fact, 10 gorillas have been killed recently in the worst spate of violence since the 1980s. In many cases, the poachers were trying to snatch a baby gorilla. To pick one infant gorilla to go and try and raise, you must kill the whole family because gorillas are very protective. They won't allow their young to go. So it's a lot of destruction to just get one infant, which in all probability will not survive. In Uganda, rangers are trying to beat the odds. They've joined forces with government soldiers to patrol the park, hoping to make it safe for tourists, as well as the great apes. When journalists visit Bwingdi National Park to see gorillas in the wild, teams of armed guards come along for the journey and make sure they survive the experience. Tourism generates a lot of money, which is vital to gorilla conservation. But getting gorillas used to having humans around can be a dangerous thing. In fact, researcher Michelle Goldsmith says it makes the poacher's job that much easier. Eventually, we'll have a forest full of habituated animals, and you leave these animals who are now not fearful of humans completely vulnerable to anyone coming by. That's why anti-poaching patrols are so vital. Just last November, rangers stopped five armed poachers from snatching a baby gorilla, and they got some help from a member of the gorilla's group. There was this very loud cry, and it was a human cry, and somebody was asking, I mean, calling out for help. Please, I'm dying, you know, help me, save me. And actually, it was one of the poachers and who had gone very close to one of the gorillas, and the gorilla had actually attacked him. On this occasion, the poachers were caught, but there are more out there. Back in Rwanda, the researchers find a suitable group for Mvuya Kuri, but she's too scared to leave her human protectors. A few days later, weakened by the stress of her ordeal, she dies. More proof that in these jungles, where the last mountain gorillas cling to existence, nothing comes easy.